Hello and welcome. This is George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. We are continuing our test drive of the Drobo um, B800FS and uh, the Drobo Sync product. Uh, as you can see right now, we are uh, totally up to date on, on our syncing, so everything's working great. Um, you can see the last sync uh, succeeded, so we've been running very successfully here for quite a while. Um, we do have uh, one uh, situation to take care of before we uh, switch things over. Um, we've run out of capacity here, or running low, I should say, on capacity on our Drobo Pro FS. I was able to find some real nice Hitachi uh, two terabyte drives at a uh, pretty economical price, so we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Um, another question that might come up is why is this Drobo out of capacity and this one not since they're just essentially a mirror of each other. Well interestingly enough uh, I have this one on its own uh, on, on dual drive redundancy so uh, you can see that both of these have the same drives. There's a one terabyte, a two, a two, and a two and if I go to the DR box it has two, two, and two, so it actually has less. Um, the reason for that difference, though, is that since the Drobo Pro FS, uh, name of the server, the B800FS, is our uh, primary uh, NAS, I'm using dual drive redundancy uh, with that. So uh, you can look right here, and you can see we're doing dual drive redundancy, um, so that way I can lose two drives and still have the system up and running. For my DR box, for uh, I, I decided that that wasn't uh, something we needed as another layer of protection since it was another copy of the data. So if we go to this one, you can see I have actually less drives, um, just the six terabytes total. Um, but if I go to settings here, general, I don't have the dual drive redundancy check. So that's the basic difference between the two. Um, you also notice that I have the drive spin down a lot more aggressive on this one just because um, we only replicate uh, every couple hours. So that's the differences there. But like I said, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and upgrade this unit. And then we will move the Drobo DR to a slower port. Uh, right now and it's on a gigabit port. Uh, and what we will do is move it to a um, to a regular to, to a port that we've purposely slowed down. So you can see right here, we're going to move it to port lucky port 13, which we have set at 10 megabit as opposed to one gigabit, which is all these other ones. So that should give us a, a fairly decent simulation of some WAN traffic, you know, slower performance, and we'll make sure everything stays in sync, and we'll update you on that progress as well. So like I said, the first step is to go ahead and upgrade the capacity on the uh, Drobo. So that'll be our first, the first thing we want to take care of. So hang on one second while I go ahead and put in the new drives. Okay, and we're back. I uh, went ahead and put the drive into the new unit. Uh, we go to, you just see the uh, space free up, put two terabytes in. Two terabytes <laughs> uh, solves a lot of problems pretty quickly. So if we go to our status menu here, you will see that there's a new two terabyte drive. That slot was empty before. Uh, so we've got plenty of capacity again to continue on and uh, keep on uh, going as, it's, as it were. So that's, uh, that's the upgrade section. Uh, we will uh, make the move here to a, um, the 10 base T port and start pumping data uh, across that as well. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we've got the uh, unit now, the Drobo DR unit, uh, now moved over to the uh, port 13. Uh, best way to show you that is here. You can see that this port is now active. Uh, what we'll do is we'll monitor that port. Uh, you can see a little bit of traffic, of course, has gone over it. Um, we'll monitor that port, make sure everything's going okay, uh, and we'll be able to, should be able to see some traffic start hitting here pretty soon, as soon as we kick off a job. So, uh, what we'll do is we will uh, just uh, copy a uh, file over to the uh, unit.
by doing that, we'll uh, bring up a couple of finder windows here. Uh, there's our uh, Drobo Pro FS. We're going to copy something into public, uh, just uh, sort of randomly there. Uh, and then we've just got some uh, phone calls that we've briefing calls that we've recorded. So this one's 80 megabytes. Uh, I, I will note that the system's rebalancing, so there might be a slight performance uh, impact, but although I don't think significant, uh, because we added that that other two terabyte drive. So, anyways, here we go. We're going to copy that over. And we're done. So there's 80 megabytes, and of course we'll be using it. This is a uh, Saturday, so it won't be as busy today, uh, but we'll be using it during the during the day, and we'll try to show you some updates. So what we'll do now is we'll go to the Drobo dashboard for the B800FS, go to Drobo Sync, and we'll go ahead and start a sync. And there's our sync in progress. And hopefully, if we go over to our port display, we should be able to uh, see some traffic here. I'm sorry. So it was at 604. We're already at 1831. So um, very, very simple test there. But you can see that we've got a uh, a relatively uh, slow connection uh, to simulate a WAN uh, type replication uh, and everything seems to be working just fine so we'll be using it throughout the uh, next couple of weeks so you can give you some updates on on how that is progressing and then uh, we will um, the last test of course is to uh, test the uh, failover. So we'll we'll uh, assume that our primary NAS has crashed, and we will bring this back online uh, as our primary and show you us accessing the data and things like that. Again, George Crump with Storage Switzerland. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Uh, have a great day.